I'm going to show you guys how I use Trackmaster with Ableton Live to make some music. So, here's the setup on my screen. As you can see, I have Trackmaster running and I have Ableton Live running. And let's see, I have some drum loops and a couple sequences with a couple synthesizers. And what I've done is put three different effects on the master, um, what is this called, track. And what I'm going to do is set it up so that each one of these effects are going to be controlled by Trackmaster. So, with a little bit of luck, we'll have this done. And you can watch how I do this. And hopefully I'll remember. So, we press this MIDI button here. And first, we're going to assign Trackmaster to work with the filter. And for this, we use Y axis for cutoff, and we turn it on. Oh boy, and I made a mistake. It's in notes mode. So we try again. X, Y mode with Y on. And I'm pressing caps lock, which you can also press the on off button, but press caps lock and you see now that here it says 1, 3, which means channel 1, uh, CC3, which you can also see up here. Now we're going to also use the resonance on the x-axis so we turn it on again and it gets assigned now so that we're not accidentally hitting it we're going to use the toggle on the on off button in the top left and there we go everything's cool and let's make sure this is all working properly turn these all on turn it on and see it's moving around. You can start a loop up in live and use one finger and watch it move properly. All right. Well, now we have beat repeat, which we're going to be using with two fingers. Now, for the y-axis, I like to change the grid on beat repeat, so it turns it on. Oh my, I use two fingers, yes. And now we do x-axis, which I like to do pitch decay. And I'm going to modify it a little bit so that it's not as wide of a range. And last time we had the toggle going to the top left on off button. This time we're putting the toggle to the repeat button and beat repeat because it just makes more sense that way. So we press this, turn it on, move it a little bit. There we go. We got all these guys. Now, one thing else I like to do is change the grid to be inverted because it again makes more sense that way I think. Now we have a frequency shifter which I only use a couple things in it so use a Y axis on three fingers to assign it to this and uh, the on off with the toggle. Like so. There we go. 
So now we have three different effects on the drum loop. Here we go, filter. Oh. Like I said, things can go wrong. Here we go. So one finger with the filter, two fingers with some beat repeat. some pitch decay and three fingers with some free position or ring I don't know what that really does but it's, it's interesting all right so you had some fun with that now we can also put in a bass line here using just Trackmaster, right? So here we go. It's now set to notes and we have our bass track selected and I'm gonna make the length two measures or whatever you call them and hit the play button. Turn on the track master and start playing some notes. So, just like that, we have some notes going. Now, maybe the bass is a little bit hard to hear. I don't know. So, here's another channel that we're going to put in here with a longer measure. So, let's see how this goes. get the point. I kind of just like the bass and the drums here. Yeah, that's how you set it up. I'll just kind of end it with some chopping and